Hi, I'm Evelyn from Clean Cut Kid and you're watching Forge TV. Hey guys, we're joined here today by Clean Cut Kid. Hello. Only one of them though, Evelyn. <laughs> How best, are you doing? The best one. The best one. So they the say. The greatest one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. good. Um, yeah. How's Sheffield treating you? Amazing. Amazing. So far, we've been to the Krispy Kreme Oh my God, shack. yes. I don't know if you've got it. I feel like Palace. there's more Krispy Kremes in Sheffield than I've seen anywhere else in the I UK. I mean, I was Googling to find them and I just thought I was going to find like a little tiny stall in like a Tesco or yeah, supermarket no, or something. Really and then I was like wandering around the centre. I was just like, where is this little <laughs> little tiny stall? And then I literally walked into this huge, great big like oh Krispy Kreme shop. I was like, did, oh my god. Did you gosh. buy loads? I bought two of the big packets. So yes. what's that? 24 yeah, yeah and then like another three and they have the halloween ones as well no it didn't go what? halloween i know oh. i just was i was one i didn't know um, limited edition i'm quite a classic kind okay, of gal classic. so classic went for the old glaze premium <laughs> <laughs> that is good though <laughs> the penultimate night of yeah. your tour how has it been oh, how's it going been the best tour we've ever done how was it um have you got any nights that have stood out for you um Cardiff was really good actually and it was we hadn't played in Wales for like two years so that was like really really cool for all of us um and Nottingham was one of our best gigs okay um like ever eh, maybe or yeah there, maybe. yeah I don't know what it was it was just we just got on stage and I don't know it, it was just there was just this electric like feeling like in the, the room it was so good um and we had like a really good one in Leeds as well that was a mm -hmm. uh, sold out Broodnell um, so there was like 400 people all squashed in and oh, it was it's great. Good. Have you played the Leadmill before? I don't believe you um, have. We have actually, yeah. We played with Fickle Friends oh. a year ago. Yes, Fickle Friends were here last Friday. Oh, were they? And the gig there was like oh, super amazing. amazing. Um, hopefully the Leadmill tonight will go up to your best yeah. gig. Hope so. Well, it's sold out as well and yes. it's like the last proper. Yes, I saw the Leadmill tweeted. They <sighs> had like three tickets to go. Yeah, yeah. It's the most specific. randomest <laughs> like tweet ever. It was so specific. Like someone's getting their group of friends <laughs> together to get it. I asked the promoter and she said, um, she said yeah, it, it went down to like one as well. Oh my God. And then she was just sat there like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, just one lonely just person. There come for on. A couple of hours. <laughs> Who's gonna buy yeah. a ticket? Buy it herself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so felt your yeah. debut album yeah. has been out for about five months now. Yeah. How how has it been? How's the response been to it? It's been amazing. Yeah, we um we we just we always said that we would be happy if we didn't really care what like reviewers said. We just as long as the fans loved mm. it. The reviews and, for it though. And the reviews were actually amazing. Yeah. yeah. So we were we were totally happy with that but the main thing that we've just been like over the moon with is we haven't had one like you know you look on twitter and you're kind of like hoping that you don't see horrible yeah, things about you retweet a lot of your fans yeah on twitter, which is yeah really nice. and we have we've we've honestly since since it came out we haven't had one bad like That's really bad good. remark so i did see that you tweeted that you're not gonna perform again after october yeah until so the second album. yeah we're gonna try we're gonna try to just focus on making the album so we might do a couple we might do like mm -hmm. we're thinking maybe we might do like a pop-up or we might do a little surprise show that we announce on the day or something like that but we won't be probably won't be touring until the album's finished you should definitely pop back up to sheffield that would be cool those. that would be I very mean, cool tonight would blow you away hopefully. yeah hopefully i hope, not so. Too I hope much. so i'm very excited so do you feel um the response you got from that first album do you think it's going to help um like spur you on for the second album like really get it done and everything yeah definitely we it it was funny we 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 sort of signed off the first album and um i thought mike was going to turn around and go right let's have a little break let's have a few <laughs> months off and he was like oh, I've, he was like i've got ideas for the next album oh we need God. to start recording it and we literally went in the next week oh wow and started laying it down so over the summer while we've been doing festivals we've been going mm -hmm. back every like um in the weekdays and and recording so it's it's about three or four songs in, so I don't think it's it'll be that long. long. You've <laughs> yeah. had a fun schedule as well, you've done lots of outdoor festivals, yeah, yeah. and you've had like a whole October show. Yeah. Do you prefer the more kind of outdoorsy festivals to like the more intimate gigs? Or I, It's really hard. I love festivals just because um, it's always a load of fun and there's loads of other stuff to do, yeah, like yeah. in the day. Um, but... I don't know. Up until this tour, I would have said I preferred festivals, but this tour has just been so it's good. Like but yeah, I, d I don't know. Maybe I'm back to like liking touring more. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just it's. Do you like meeting the like other bands? Yeah. And kind yeah. Of, like chatting to them. Yeah, yeah. We we we've had Marskins and Callum Beatty mm -hmm. on tour with us, and they've both been like so friendly, and we've gotten on loads and like 
swap t-shirts you know yeah. like got like e- each other's band t-shirts and yeah you just it's really important because it it creates an atmosphere if if you kind of don't really get on yes yeah, and it's a bit awkward but with these guys they've just all been just dead Super sound chill, like so nice yeah free. yeah are they sad to be yeah well. yeah and we're we're sad well they got the Krispy creams that's where i went to get them oh. for <laughs> so i've sweetened them a little bit and so it's sweet won't, won't be too many tears keep the Krispy creams going yeah and um, so the new album is it mm-hmm. going to be a similar direction to what this album's been or are you looking to change it slightly we're looking to <coughs> go a little bit more kind of like well, we're doing it ourselves. We're mm-hmm. recording it ourselves. We wa- we didn't want to go in with a producer this yeah. time. Um, so it's completely. Is that so? It's more like raw in a yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Just it's more. Just so it's more like in line, exactly. Because obviously the la- we absolutely adore the last album, but the process of making it was quite difficult because mm-hmm. it was it, we were in with a producer and we don't normally work with the producer. We normally just yeah, yeah. make all our own stuff. Um, and we got there in the end, but I think with this one, we just, we, Mike's got such a like, you know, he's got such a specific vision and it, we just, we don't need someone to kind of yeah, help bring yeah. that out because he knows exactly he what knows he wants what to do. That's really good to have behind yeah. you as well. And so. can we expect some more of the like acoustic stuff? Because you released Vitamin C, yeah. which I'm obsessed with and I yeah. haven't stopped listening to since you released it in like, like June or July yeah. was. Yeah. And it's amazing. Oh, thank like, you. Like, please do more acoustic oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, have you performed that live on tour? Or? Um, well, we're playing Vitamin C tonight. We've played that because mm. that came out. Do you mean the acoustic version? Yeah, or the acoustic oh, acoustic version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll, well, we're playing Vitamin C tonight. Yeah, yeah. not the acoustic version, but um, yeah. You but yeah the, the acoustic it would be cool, wouldn't it? Like. Yeah, because there's like, but there's all sorts on that version. There's like banjo, mm-hmm. uh, mandolin, cello, organ. Um, there's, there's so m- we'd have to get like a full like 15 yeah. piece like <laughs> <laughs> crew together to, to perform it but it's crazy yeah. it's amazing though and your thank debut you. album has thank been you. so good I'm thank you and I oh, can't wait for so the glad. second one yeah me it's too like, so quick as well yeah. I'm like yes. we're just gonna keep keep bashing <laughs> them out <laughs> no, yeah, so thank you so much thank for you. being with us today thank you and clean cut kid woohoo <laughs>